You're listening to KJ and Don Darrow on Boston Sports Original, WEEI. I'm one of, humbly, one of the best basketball players in the world. You know, go through struggles, go through slumps. It's a long game. And, you know, thankful I got some great teammates that held it down. Brogdon, JB, Smart, Al. And they all trust me, right? They tell me, keep taking great looks. It's going to fall. Keep impacting the game in other ways. And all that mattered was we won this game, right? Give ourselves another chance, come back home, you know, for game seven. Yeah. Yeah. I got the big beat with KJ and Don Darrow and WEEI and the big game seven today. TD Garden. I don't know that track. Was it? How do you think Wellesley was built? It was built by Billy Squire making this song and all these rap stars using that beat to make their music. The big the beat. 80s. This is a local guy. Yeah, good. <laughs> you know, it's interesting, right? Like, you would want to know some of the famous people from your own block. Yeah. Would, would you? Yeah, I'm not would from you? Wellesley. It's all relative, okay. right? Jalen Brown's got the mask on again, by the way. Interesting. Well, you know, if that's what you've got to do. Yeah. Because, look, the Celtics are in a situation where will it even matter that you have two first team, first and second team, all NBA stars, and they're going to lose a game seven before even getting to the conference finals? We'll get to that in a second. 617-779-7937. Let's go to Brandon talking Celtics. Thanks for calling KJ and Don Darrow. You're on the air. Hey, guys. Thanks for taking my phone call. So, up, you know. Marcus Smart has been dynamite, right? He's been clicking on all cylinders, you know. And I would never take out Jason Tatum or Jalen Brown, even if they're going on a slump, because I know they would get out of it. The only person that I'm worried about is Al Horford, right? Mm. He's he's not scoring at all. Like, all he's doing is rebounding, probably giving you one assist or maybe a block or two, right? If he's not clicking, Joe Mazzula has to make it, make the switch. Sorry, there's a dog walking by. Joe Mazzula has to make the switch real quick and put Grant Williams in or Blake Griffin. I, I would go with Blake Griffin. Blake Griffin can easily give you 10, 7, and like 3, and like 2 blocks. If, if Al Horford is not clicking, you make the switch quick, he's not going to be the reason why we lose this game. Because, listen, if he's not clicking, he's out there. I mean, if he's not clicking, he's out there. And he's not making no contribution to the team, he's going to hurt us, and we're going to lose this series. Brandon, thanks for the so call. I'm worried, I'm worried. Yeah. I was with him until he said put, put Blake Griffin, Blake Griffin in, in yeah. there. I don't know if you can go down that road I, at this point. Hey, yeah. I, I hope they, I, I hope Blake Griffin does get in there because yeah. the Celtics would probably have to be up 33 for that to happen <laughs> you know, in the second half. And then Blake Griffin can play all he wants. I'd love to see Blake so Griffin you see in the, there. See, see the early 60s, late 50s replica of the Celtics in there and you know they've up by, they're up by 30? Be like, wow. Listen. Looks like the whole parquet is down. <laughs> you got to you – gotta th- I understand and I'm, I'm Celtics, annoyed yeah. that Al Horford honestly made that elite shooter comment because I feel like since he said that, his shooting has gone down the drain. 